<laughs> what up team? So, I have an article here from Boxing Scene. I will leave in the description. You read it, come to your own conclusions as usual. But the WBA have ordered a purse bid set for May 17th for a fight between Manuel Char, the regular champion, against Trevor Bryan, the number one ranked fighter in the WBA, who also holds the interim WBA heavyweight title. The minimum bid for this fight will be one million dollars. That in itself to me is a joke. I don't think anyone's gonna bid one million dollars. It's not worth that. And they've got the purse splits set at 75% for Manuel Char and 25% for Trevor Bryant. Now Tre Trevor Bryant is promoted by Don King with his fighter taking a 25% cut I don't see him putting in a bid I'm not sure who Manuel Char's promoters are but seriously Manuel Char is he worth paying $750,000 to fight Trevor Bryan who's gonna be tuning in to watch that I'll watch it, but I ain't paying for it. The reason I'll watch it is because I think it's a pretty hard fight to pick. I think it's pretty competitive. But believe it or not, I'm going to pick Trevor Bryan to win this fight on points. But Taiho will just have to wait and see if anybody's going to put in a purse bid at a minimum of $1 million. One good thing about this fight is it's going to clear out some bullshit rankings. Look at these rankings, man. I mean, we've got Anthony Joshua as a super champion. That's legit, right? We've got Manuel Char as the regular champion. A belt that means fuck all. Yes, it was the original WBA belt until the super champion belt was created but ever since that super champion belt has been created the regular belt means nothing absolutely nothing we also have Joe Joyce here above the rankings as the gold champion he beat the main Stavern for that belt That puts him above the rankings. And we move down. Trevor Bryan, who'd fought nobody until he fought an ex cruiserweight in BJ Flores to pick up the interim title. We have Alexander Yusik. Ranked at number two as a heavyweight. And as a professional, he hasn't even had a fight at heavyweight. <laughs> at number three, we have Frez Akendo, who hasn't fought since he fought. Rosalind Shagaev. <laughs> and 
he's still in the rankings. From there on down, you can make a case for those other guys to be ranked where they are, besides Otto Wallen, of course. Mind you, he did beat Adrian Granat, an un unbeaten prospect, but number one, two, three, and the two guys that are above the rankings with the WBA are making the sanctioning body look like a freaking laughing stock. The rankings at the moment look worse than WBC, and that's goddamn saying something. But the fight itself, Trevor Bryan versus Manuel Char. I think Trevor Bryan is going to win this fight on points. We haven't seen a lot of Trevor Bryan. Now I have seen some footage of him. The man can box. He's a pretty good boxer. I don't think he's got concussive power, but he's a heavyweight. He can punch. We know Manuel Char can punch. We've seen plenty of him, but he's nothing special. He talks a good game. He's hunting a big payday. He's been trying to get the Anthony Joshua fight ever since he picked up that belt. He's had issues with popping dirty for stuff but getting away with it on technicalities so either way I want to see one of these guys drop completely out of the rankings when they lose and then I want to see the winner take on a legitimate guy and get their ass beat and taken out of the rankings too because neither of them belong there but the fight itself I think will be competitive if it's some kind of pay-per-view shit I'll steal it <laughs> but yeah let us know your thoughts on this fight I think it's competitive do you who do you think is gonna win and how looking forward to interacting with some comments and we'll see what happens with this purse bid see if it makes the minimum bid if you've enjoyed the video make sure you give me the thumbs up subscribe to the channel and i'll catch you in the next one big boys boxing we out see you.